you know it's always interesting like i said so for the past two days sunday Monday, yeah i haven't really been outside you know just been in the house just relaxing my head you know but somehow they always seem to take it take it as if oh yeah we've, we've targeted so much that uh he's, he's paranoid and all this stuff and then i come out the house and then they act like this is a surprise you know, and I, put, and, I, and I take out my phone so I record it. I already told you, 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 you're not listening. I already said, you were never going to stop me from exposing what it is that y'all are doing. And uh, I'm going to forever uh, expose it. So if, if that's something that you think that you can change my mind by engaging in even more targeting or more threats, you should learn by now that that doesn't work. Right, you should learn, and uh, you should know by now that uh, no, <laughs> you know no matter what you do, I'm gonna still continue to record and expose it, right? And so they will engage in the palm fixation drill, just like her, her right here in the red jacket as I'm walking across. She, you know, stretch her, her hands out, open up her palms so I can see. You know, it's the same shit, like I said. I'll show you guys over and over again. So, you know. But it just goes to show you how, because they think that they belong to a criminal organization, uh, a religious cult, and because it's just only one of me, that they can bully me or they can abuse me psychologically, physically, or what have you and think that I'm supposed to not defend myself, right? It's like I said, if you attack me physically, I'm gonna defend myself physically. And either I'm gonna die or you're gonna die, okay? Simple as that, because when I start, I ain't gonna stop. Simple as that, all right? So yeah, I am not playing that game, all right? And again, I keep saying this because I want you guys to understand this, all right? Okay? I didn't start a war. You, you, you know, these dark triads did. I didn't experiment on nobody because I don't have the resources nor the power to do it. They did that. Okay? They did that to me. Right? And why is that? Why did they do that? Because, again, they did it to my brother and they tried to silence him and he wouldn't become silent. So they turned and attacked me. This is how they're doing, uh, attacking my kids. Again, I've shown you guys this many times. Right? how they uh, attack my kids in, in various ways, whether it be through other students in their school and through silent sound, manipulating their minds, okay? Yet, again, you know, they can always fall back on the, oh, he's crazy, you know, whenever it suits them, or he's not, you know, whenever it suits them. So, <laughs> you know, and again, me talking about it, you know, it, they seem to want to make people believe, or even me believe, that me talking about it, that I'm weak, that, you know, that I'm guilty, what have you. No, no, it's not. You know, did they stop the Jews from talking about the Holocaust that happened to them? Hmm? Did they stop the Armenians from talking about what was done to them? Right, but only black people. We we have to just shut up and take it, whether it be uh, through enslavement, through Jim Crow, right, through the war on drugs, through mass mass incarceration. You know, nah, yeah, we, we we have to let them do whatever they want to do to us, and now we've adopted the the mindset that we can do to each other whatever we want. Okay, some of us. Uh, are purposely are aligned with these white races and it's because those who are are serving their own self-interest and not for the interest of their community their family or their people they may say it's for their family but no it's not they may say it's for the community but no it's not what I'm doing exposing what's going on so a lot of us don't even understand psychological programming psychological manipulation a lot of us still believe that only God can condition our mind. 
right? That only God knows what we're thinking. Despite the reality, despite the truth over the past 50 years, right? Despite all of what have been uncovered, discovered, we still believe that shit. That's to show you how brainwashed we are. That's to show you how psychologically manipulated we are to ignore the reality, to ignore the truth of our circumstances. Right? And so now, for those of us who are waking up, what's the new slogan you start to see them say? You know, you go woke, you go broke. And not woke in the sense of what the white liberals would call them woke. That's not woke. That is not woke at all. Right? It's for black men and black women. Because this system do not want black people who care about each other, who love themselves and love each other, and love us as a people, to advance anyway. Because they know when we advance, we're bringing others along. Right? And it's not who they say we can bring along. <laughs> right? It's not who they say we can bring along. Okay? So you start to see them, some of them, some of us talk about, oh, you know, some of us gonna have to be left behind. No. No. We have to educate every single black person. Every single black person. Even the coons. Educate them on the truth. Okay? It's a hard pill for them to swallow, but you educate them on the truth. Okay? We don't leave those in the in, in, in the so-called projects where they are. Okay? Well, we don't. We leave them where, where they are. We improve the, their environment. We improve their mind. You don't leave your people behind. Okay? If we understand that they have miseducated us. We understand that. So why would we turn around and then blame those people who have been miseducated, who have been manipulated, including us, and say we're going to leave them behind? It's ridiculous. It really is. And that comes from religion. Right? And that comes from that those amongst us who also feel that, they, that we're better. Okay? We feel that we're better because you know we may have money or we may have some status. So we feel that we're better. Alright? But you get around white people with status and money, and you're just another N-word with money. But you have no power. Okay? So what's the what's the use of having money if you have no power? What's the use of having money if you can't build in your community what needs to be built? Right? To benefit your people. Come on now. You know, come on. The, the conversation. Right? What's the use? Nah. <laughs> you ain't never gonna shut me up. Like I say, the only way you're gonna do is put me in a box. That's all. You're never ever gonna shut me up. Never, never gonna happen. Never will happen. Always remember that. Always remember that. Okay? Anyhow. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.